Ladies and gentlemen, the best thing about the internet is that it is open. In every field, it let us share and innovate. As Digital Agenda Commissioner, my mantra is to allow and promote that openness everywhere, whether it's to get the economic and democratic boost of open public data or to unlock the cultural wonders of our museums and archives on Europeana. Nowhere is this more appropriate than for science, where openness is essential. That need to share is why scientists have long sought out new tools to spread, examine and compare knowledge. Remember that the web itself was invented by physicists at CERN to share their results. And now ICT stands to make a huge change through open science. We are just beginning to learn how huge. Look at data. Without doubt, science is in the big data era every year producing enough to fill 20 libraries of Congress. That big data needs big collaboration, so you can collect, combine and conclude from different experiments in different countries, in different disciplines. That collaboration delivers more efficient, practical and important results than you can get from separate, closed systems. We have seen that in countless fields. And that is why high-speed research networks like our own Jeon, already connect millions of researchers, scholars, educators and students. And I want to promote ever better, ever more open infrastructures for collaboration. Open science isn't just about opening up data, it's also about sharing findings. And don't forget that the number one research funder in Europe is the taxpayer. Don't they deserve the largest possible reward from their investment? And shouldn't scientists be able to learn from each other, from others' expertise and others' results? Internet advances make such sharing economically possible. And there is an increasing awareness of how much it could help science. Already the infrastructure to support open access is out there. The thousands of publications in e-infrastructures like Open Air help researchers, funding bodies and citizens alike. Open access will be built into Horizon 2020, our proposal for tomorrow's EU research and innovation funding. Horizon 2020 will invest in e-infrastructures for open access. It will look at how to incentivize researchers to share, and it will require open access for EU-funded research. Altogether, it will show the benefits of opening up for a successful European research area. Open science doesn't mean ignoring economic reality. Of course we need business models to be sustainable, but that doesn't mean we have to carry on doing things the way they have always been done. So wherever you sit in the value chain, whether you are a researcher or an investor or a policymaker, my message is clear. Let's invest in the collaborative tools that let us progress. Let's tear down the walls that keep learning sealed up and let's make science open.